Okay, so we marked out a 14, 1500 foot loop around the warehouse here. We're starting out with a really big, heavy puddle. I think this is a 30 or 40 weight, uh, just motor oil, used oil here. We've got some light areas, some heavy areas, roughly about three and a half gallons we spilled out over the whole building. Comes down, got a little debris pile there. Come down, loop. Make our way back here. Each of these legs is about 350, 450 feet. We'll come all the way down this line. this area. I think the epoxy areas with the coating are going to be very similar to the built up rubber and the factory, the raw concrete areas are going to be similar to where that runs out or where you have a blend of pavement and tire build up. Come around here, kind of simulating the home run of the track. We stop the oil here. Track a little bit with me right now. Got some nice rough concrete. This is our loop right there. So I'm going to time it and we're going to film it. We'll see what we get on the first pass. Um, not super optimistic on these heavy half gallon pools but expecting pretty good results overall especially by the second pass so we'll get it filmed and set your pick up a 30 40 weight oil we're using two scrubbers one for the initial clean and one for a follow-up see it's hitting a big puddle of oil there from the large puddle that kicked to the side. That'll take a second pass. Here's your second machine. There is some oil residue there. I need a heavier detergent in the heavier areas or a second pass. A little bit of an oil film. Off into the rougher concrete. This has a lot of rubber, forklift tire traffic. Despacito. Despacito. If you're leaving more film, you can drop the speed down. You can regulate your speed down. picking up any debris you can always hit the back button that'll pick up the squeegee hit it again it'll drop it back down it'll leave whatever little pile of trash it's pulling this is all heavy weight oil that's the before that's the after
the second machine we're running a heavy stiff bristle i think we're going to go ahead and change that to a softer bristle after we do this lap we'll try that as a separate this bristle doesn't have a lot of soap activation At the lowest speed, the initial clean is doing a very good job of getting a whole amount of oil. This is a very soft, high bristle density brush. You can see the dirty water effect where the brush is going and doing its detergent work pretty high volume of oil finishing out the loop here you see where we've been it's drying within a few seconds of passing there is a little bit of oil haze where the heavy heavy spill of oil picking right back up there finishing the uh, third leg of the loop right now we're at probably a thousand to twelve hundred feet. Got some more oil piles here. Puddle activity. And we're looping around. Back into some rough pavement type area. Big oil spill right there. The foam. The basic degreasing detergent for. Uh, food grade disposal. There's some heavy detergents that'll break up and lift the oil a little bit more. See a little bit of oil right there. And we're done. For the second pass. So I definitely think we need to go with the softer, higher bristle density for the second machine. And the front machine, if you have minor spillage, high speed is fine. If you have heavy puddles or spills or really tacky oil, you have to do the lower travel speed. Finishing out our loop here. The first machine, we have about three quarters a gallon into about 25 gallons of water, of the detergent water. The second machine, we have about eight, 10 ounces in just plain water. Cuando termine, saquen los cepillos. I'll let them finish up that loop there. I'll get you a picture of the detergent we're using. This is just a, a food grade degreaser. All right, here we're finishing out this pass. They're going to pop the brushes off so we can have a look at those. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here for time. All right, start the third cut here. Pull your brushes off, son. Turn the deck up and pull the brush off. Here. So this is the soft, high-density bristle. You can see where he's going over that forklift tire rubber and some of the grit. That's just a good soap-activating bristle. Lots of density on it. Turn your machine on. Huh? On. Bring your deck up. The deck up button right there. There you go. Good job. That's down. Take her up. There you go. And we're going to pop the brush off of that. And you can see this bristle is much stiffer and denser. It's going to be really good for scrubbing debris off the floor, but you're not going to get as much soap activation water and soap is just going to slip through there where this one's going to make it foam and lift the oil up off the ground 
All right, so we're gonna do a quick run around and look at our final results. Here was the largest, about a gallon puddle on that first pass. The first machine kicked it over to the side in the water, so there's a second pass needs to be done there. You could tell a few places. There's a little bit of buildup. He's gonna go ahead and do a second pass on that. This first area, the first 150 feet, I poured out about a gallon and a half of liquid. You can see there's a little bit of water left, a little bit of oil left in these very, very heavy areas. So with this, probably need a stronger, more pavement oriented detergent and use the slow travel speed. Everywhere that there wasn't very much oil put down, where there's just drips or trickles here and there, or was spread out by a couple feet, the machine did a really good job of keeping up with it. This part surface here is a very, very porous concrete. A lot of wear, a lot of dust and dirt, doesn't get clean very often. A little bit of moisture would be pulled out of the cracks there. Uh, everywhere where there is some kind of a coating or sealant, it's pretty much dry. Just have a look here at the last part of our route, see how it came out. This is after him doing the second pass with the first machine. No longer using the second machine, just the first machine on a second pass. And you can see almost all of the residual oil film is pulled up now with this second pass. And there we go. I'll get this uploaded and you can have a look at it.